So Declan, brand new season upon us, uh, Tyrone, the opening game in the National League. Before we look at that, I don't want to dwell on 2020, but how much is what happened last year now going to be a driving factor on what 2021 is going to be for you? Listen, you know, it finished 2020, finished disappointing, there's no doubt about that there. Uh, Oshin, we had our debrief after, shortly after, maybe 10 days after that there. And uh, yeah, we've got to let, take the learnings from that there on the day, get Cavan to Saratona. But we moved on, to be quite honest. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward now to 2021. And we've been back over the last three weeks. And as I said, the lads have been uh, training really, really well. And looking forward now to first match on, on, on Saturday night. How big a year is this for Donegal football, Declan? Ah, listen, Oshin, every year is big. There's no doubt about it. Every year is it, you know, the last 2020 was really challenging with, with COVID. And it's going to be no different this year. It's, it's not, you know... The championships of Steve come back in 2018, 2019, where you had no spectators, you had big crowds at National League games, uh, also championship matches. There's going to be no no, no spectators, it's going to be the same for, for all teams. But it's just great, just great to get back in playing. And mm. as I say, the league's coming, we haven't much time to prepare, it's been a very short run. Uh, but uh, as I say, we'll, we'll have a fair day Saturday night now where, where, where a lot of the lads are at, and we're going to have to use this in, in terms of getting ready for, for championship, which is only six, seven weeks away now at this stage. Yeah, short run on. How much of a hindrance is that, Declan, given that you're trying to get players to their max with a game coming in such a short period of time? Well, I, I think, you know, you know, there's no point dwelling too much, but I mean, I didn't see any reason why we could not have got back in a couple of weeks earlier. I think, you know, at this level now, and it's, it, it, these guys are more or less professional athletes in terms of how to look after themselves and how to prepare. Uh, we know we we probably should have been back uh, a number of weeks earlier because it takes that five six weeks to get ready to get lads up to speed uh, after coming back on the pitch and you know we've got to watch in terms of injury injuries and you know uh, got to be careful around that and uh, as I say it's just basically three weeks to get ready and uh, but as I said it's the same for for all teams but uh, Saturday evening is the start of our competitive season and as I say we're really looking forward to it. no better match to get started in a local derby against our. Northwest rivals through. Yeah. Can you tell us maybe how things are panning out squad wise for you and uh, injury wise uh, ahead of the game? Because obviously it's a, a concern as you head into a new season, Declan. And it, it is, there's no doubt about it. And you know, there are a number of guys, you know, recovering from soft tissue injuries, and, and that's natural after just coming back on the pitch for the first time in about six, seven months collectively as a group. Uh, we'll monitor them now, Ushin, you know, over the next 24, 48 hours, a couple of sessions to go. And uh, we'll not be taking any risks with, with any players. Some people are just finding their feet coming back into it. But uh, uh, listen, we're, we're, we're really, as I say, we will have a, a squad of players ready for action on Saturday night. And as I say, probably over the next three to four weeks, you'll see a, a fair number of lads being, being used in the league as we build up towards championship. Yeah, so you're going to have a big rotation policy then, Declan, ahead of the end I'm, of June time? I'm not going to say it's going to be a big rotation yeah. policy, but we're going to look at lads that we need, we need to do, get, get up to speed and we'll see where the guys are at. It's still important. The league's very, very important to us. And uh, it is a mini also championship this year. And uh, that also, you know, is far from ideal, but it's the, the hand we've been dealt mm -hmm. with, so we've got to get on with it. So... Uh, but there's going to be really competitive matches starting the same Saturday with Tyrone and then with Monaghan and Armagh all in the next three weeks. Yeah. How important then is the league in your eyes, Declan? Well, the league's been important. We've always treated the league important, Oisin. Uh, you know, it's not the same. You know, last year we we had uh, finished our, I think it was a, our fifth match against Monaghan when, when, when uh, lockdown happened and COVID. So by the time we got back in, it was behind uh, closed doors, really. And, uh, you know, you had your... Those years in the past, you had your mechanic cup. You, you would play your three games mechanic cup, six weeks training, three weeks mechanic cup to get ready for a national league campaign, and then you played your national league, and then you had that break of six, six weeks, six to eight weeks to win the championship. So you don't have that this year. You have no mechanic cup. You have no games to prepare. You're straight in basically at the deep end now at the weekend. And as I say, we'll know more about these players where they're at now on, on Saturday evening. And then, as I say, it's game on week in week out, and. Uh, one week off, I think, at the end of the league going into yeah. the championship. So it's going to be very, very condensed, Oshin. But uh, it's something that we're looking forward to. And I think the stunning all spectators and sports supporters are really looking forward to it also. Uh, it'd be great for those to sit down on a Saturday evening and watch that game. And uh, it takes away a bit from the doom and bloom that's out there at the minute. Yeah, just before we mention Tron, do you feel it's unfair maybe in Donegal that you have just one home game in this shortened league format, given what has happened in other counties and caught with breaches? Yeah, listen, Oshin, it, it is what it is. Uh, is it ideal? It's not ideal. But are we living in an ideal world at the minute? We're not. It's it, it's uh, it is what it is. We're, as I say, we're just happy we can. That's out of our control. All of those things, so we can only control what's 
what's in front of us now and that's the next training session and uh, we look forward to that as I say we build towards the match the weekend. Is it going to be a rejuvenated or revigorated um, Tyrone team that's, that's going to come to the pitch on, on, on Saturday night? There is change of course there like Cal McShane's back and they have that new management as well. Is Tyrone going to be a different force to what you met in the championship last year Declan? Well it's, it's going to be probably different from a number of point of views you know you won't have Mickey on the, on the sideline who's been manning the sideline for a long time uh, you have new management coming in. It's going to be definitely an, an element of freshness, no doubt about that. There, Toronto, you know, still one of the top teams in the country. There's no doubt about that. There, and um, it's going to be it should be a really good competitive Northwest uh, match on, on on Saturday evening. And uh, definitely, you know, uh, those games are are uh, highly competitive. Uh, played even though there's going to be no spectators there, it's going to be highly competitive, and it's going to be yeah, fierce fierce uh, tussle between you know two two good teams. Okay, Declan, thanks for talking to us. The best of luck with your league campaign. Thanks, Oshin.